Hello everybody, welcome back to another video. Today we are playing Animal Crossing New Horizon and I am sorry that the quality isn't too super great. I lost all of my screen capturing um, devices and everything that I use to record these videos in our move and so I don't have them back yet but regardless the information is going to be here so even though the picture quality might not be as pristine as you are used to it still has some valuable information or so I hope. Today we are going to be looking for tarantulas and my sister had this theory that you could get unlimited amount of tarantulas on an island. Now there is an island that spawns tarantulas and a lot of tarantulas but my sister has this theory that she's pretty sure works for spawning tarantulas on any island and getting an unlimited amount of tarantulas regardless of what island you go to. And we are going to test it out and see if it works. And I told her that I would give her a shout out. So hi, Laura. Everybody go follow her on YouTube. And yeah, we're going we're gonna to give this a shot. So if this works, I'm totally giving her full credit for it. And... Um, please like the video, subscribe to the channel, leave us a comment down below. I told her if this video gets enough monetization, I'll take her out for sushi. So please help us out. So the first thing we need to do is we need to make a bunch of axes, not flimsy axes or stone axes or anything like legit axes. We need to be able to cut down trees and we need some shovels to dig trees up, dig up plants, all kinds of things. So go ahead and make a bunch of axes and a bunch of shovels. All right, so what I've done is I have made a bunch of axes and a bunch of shovels, and then I also have my ladder and my vaulting stick, my pole vaulting stick, whatever this thing's called. I don't even know. What is this even called? Yeah, vaulting pole. Okay, so this is what I have. Um, you really should only need like two of each, but I'm bringing three just in case because you never know what's going to happen. But this is all I'm bringing to the island, so we are going to go purchase our ticket to the island and head on out. Now guys, unfortunately with this process, I'm under the impression that I don't think this is going to work if you end up on the island with bamboo. But if I end up on bamboo, I guess we can always check that out, I'm not sure. But we're going to give it a shot and we're going to see what we can end up doing. And hopefully this works. If this works, I'm going to be super, super excited. But I don't know. Before we head out to this island, leave me a comment down below. Do you think that I'm going to be able to get an unlimited amount of tarantulas? Yes, no, maybe so. Leave me a comment down below. Okay, guys. So... What we are going to do is we are going to start picking up everything, everything off the ground, everything we can find, literally. So the objective is, is that the tarantulas are a ground spawning insect. So any of these plants, trees, anything that another bug could spawn in has a higher chance of spawning than a tarantula. But if we remove everything, so we're taking the flowers, we are going to get our shovel out, we are going to dig up these flowers, we are doing everything, removing every single aspect from this island, then we should, in return, have a higher chance of spawning tarantulas. So we have to knock down every single tree, all of that. Now, like I said, this might take a little while, but it should, in theory, spawn tarantulas. So we're gonna go ahead and do that. I'll time myself to let you know how long it takes me to do all of this, but let's go ahead and get that done. <laughs> All right, so right now I'm going to craft some bug nets. Um, you can also buy them. So it looks like I can only craft one with the resources that I got, but you can buy them as well, um, which is thankfully very good because we're gonna need a lot of them. But um, 
Anyway, I am going to drop off everything. So you can see here's all of the little pansies and stuff. I'm just going to plant them all over here. Um, you can't just drop them, so you can't remove them entirely from your island. But I am just putting them all in one spot so that if any bugs were to come on them, that I can easily just run through them real quick and get rid of all of the bugs because we do want to scare away any bugs that are not tarantulas. So I'm going to do this and there's a couple of different rock areas that I'm laying my items on. There are bugs, you can see like bugs here that spawn on rocks. So you can go ahead and scare those away too. But let's go ahead and drop everything that is not a bug net because in the end we want to have this entire inventory filled up with tarantulas and one bug net. Oop, no. I'm gonna keep these in there for now because I might need them to go up and down, but other than that, there we are. Okay, so now it's time, moment of truth, to see if we get any tarantulas on this island. And like I said, if you see any other bugs, you will, oh, uh-oh, I left a tree. Oh no. You'll have to, like these bugs, you'll just scare them away. Anything else, just keep scaring them away. Run into them. And hopefully, if this actually works, we will find some tarantulas. All right, so I just removed that tree. All right, let's see what we can find. Just so that you guys know, it took me about eight minutes to clear the entire island. All right, tarantulas. Oh, is that one right there? Oh my God, that is. Guys, check that out. That's a tarantula, right? It's gonna charge at me, I know it. Got it. Is it? Yes. No way. Okay. Okay, okay. All right, now maybe. Okay, let's see. Run away, bug. Okay. Was that just luck or is this a real thing? One is not enough for me to, to be convinced that this is real. I need more than, than one instance. <gasps> oh my gosh, look at that guys. Oh, I think this works. Holy crap. I should also count how many times I get eaten alive by these things. All right, come on tarantulas. Come on, where are we at? If one spawns back here, I'm literally dead. All right, so for anybody wondering the proper way to catch these little guys, once we find one, I will show you how to successfully catch one. That way you're not just wasting your time running around like a crazy lunatic like I was the first time I was trying to catch these because I had no idea what I was doing. And then my cousin told me the correct way to go about this. So I will show you, we just have to find one. When it goes up, let me um, turn the volume up too because then you can really hear it, because it hisses. So it's down, we can walk towards it. Now it's standing up, so stop moving. Start walking, stop. So every time it brings its legs up, you want to stop moving. Otherwise it'll charge at you. And uh, if you charge at it, it charges at you, you die, and yeah. That's not what we want. So you just need to keep working at it until you get close enough. And once you finally get there, you catch him. Boom. Just like that. So that is essentially how you catch a tarantula. All right, guys. So I've caught a few and I'm going to go ahead and work on catching some more and I will be back. Okay, guys, are you ready? Boom, look at that. That is amazing. So, um, it took about an hour and I think next time I could do it a little bit quicker. Um, the thing is, is that sometimes there were areas where I wasn't really prepared for them to be, so I'd be like running around the corner here and there'd be one right here that I couldn't see or um, behind this cliff that I'm looking at, sometimes they would spawn on or behind it. 
Um, there was one time where there's a few that were like down here. Um, but after I did this for a couple times, maybe caught like five of them, I kind of saw where all the bugs were spawning. So I knew where to look. So it does get easier and quicker as time goes on. But we are going to head out and that is all we can do here. I will say I went through three flimsy nets. The one I'm holding now is my third one. So altogether, I don't really think that's too bad, but that is what happened. So let's go ahead and head home and it might be a little too late for me to sell them, but I think that is a safe way to say that this is an awesome hack, I guess, if you want to call it a hack um, or tip to make an island. Oh, hey, look at this. Boop. <laughs> okay, that's interesting. All right, swap it out. Oh, I can't swap it out. Here, we'll let this guy go. Release, there you go, bye tarantula. And, oh, and there went my net, so there you go. Literally just used up everything. So yeah, so I can't get in there to sell. Now I could sell them out here, but I don't think I'm gonna get as much as I could um, inside, so let's see. Yeah, it's not gonna give me as much, but if I wanted to do them in this drop box, let's see how much I would make. So that's how much I would make if I put them in the drop box, and I will go ahead and show you here um, in the morning once I sell them. This is how much I made in the morning from selling all of them, so. That is it guys. Thank you so much for watching. I hope that you've enjoyed this video. Please leave us a comment down below to let us know what you think. Give this video a big thumbs up. Hit the subscribe button and also check out my sister's channel because this was an awesome idea for her. So definitely give her a lot of credit and a lot of props. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in the next one. Bye. Oh, geez. Well, <laughs> um, this is the wrong way <laughs> to catch one. <laughs> nope. <laughs> well, <laughs> yeah, when it's hiding behind a, le <laughs> a ledge. Oh, guys, I probably look like a complete idiot right now, but <laughs> okay.